Welcome back to In Focus. Images and themes from Africa appear often in the art of Imperial Spain. A recent exhibit at the National Gallery here in Washington featured Spanish royal armor and portraits from the Renaissance. Viewers Caroline Turner has more. The exhibit titled The Art of Power features some of the finest Renaissance armor in the world from the Spanish Armory in Madrid. The exhibit explores how armor was used to cultivate the image of royal power during the 15th to 18th centuries. The images portrayed in the unique designs express the ruler's strength and power by comparing him to heroic figures from ancient history, mythology, or the Bible. Luxury armor was more than protective battle gear. Each was a dazzling work of wearable sculpture. A fashion statement worn for tournaments, ceremonies, and official portraits that affirmed the wearer's right to govern. So costly, very few could afford it. The Burgundy Cross was one of the most important symbols of power in 16th century Europe. It is featured on the armor worn by Philip II when he defeated the French at the Battle of Saxony. There are many ways to transmit the idea of power. A helmet worn by Emperor Charles V is shaped like an eagle. The visiting curator from the Royal Armory of Madrid, Alvaro Soler del Campo, explains. The eagle means the empire, so the shape of the helmet has a political message. At the same time, we, have, we realize there is the imperial coat of arms. Here is the map of the kingdoms depicted in the coat of arms we have seen in the helmet. All of them were territories that in some moments depends on his family. Expanding an empire was the goal of royal politics, and linking royalty to the eternal power of antiquity was a political and cultural message repeated on many objects. The royal palace decor included tapestries even more valuable than the armor. One tapestry displays the conquest of Tunis by Emperor Charles V. It is so important because this is the first time that one European emperor in the Renaissance time, in times put his feet over Africa. A 15th century tapestry depicts peace negotiations that took place between the Roman general Scipio and his Carthaginian adversary Hannibal, two of the greatest military generals of antiquity. The gilded designs on a shield made for Philip II depict the fierce combat between the Carthaginians and Roman troops. A helmet made for the Emperor Charles V has symbols of fame and victory embossed on the skull, a reference to the conquest of North Africa. The armor made for royalty protected its wearers in a new way. By linking them to the power of the past, it helped to sustain their rule and authority for almost 300 years. The age of knights in shining armor ended with the invention of firearms but the symbolic value of armor outlived its effectiveness in battle. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.